What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Friday, May 7th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a 10 game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Kendrick Nunn from the Miami Heat playing the Minnesota Timberwolves who have the second worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Kendrick Nunn has averaged 24.4 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He scored 21, 25, and 34 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 37, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 27.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.2 times value. He's 5,200 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,000 more on DraftKings. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 221.5 points scored in this game. And I like this pick because he scored 12, 34, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games versus the Timberwolves. So he's got 30 plus fantasy point upside. And on FanDuel, he would crush value. So I like Kendrick Nunn, especially on FanDuel here versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Okay guys, this next pick, it's a high risk, high reward, tournament play only. I'm, I think I'm getting trapped into this play. I just have a feeling about this pick tonight. I'm probably gonna stop playing him after tonight if he's a flop, but I like Alfred Payton from the New York Knicks playing the Phoenix Suns who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing point guards, but Alfred Payton has averaged 21.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. Now he scored 15, 23, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 16, 17, and 13 minutes. So the problem with this pick is the minutes per game that he's playing. If he can if he can play 15 to 20 plus minutes, he definitely has a chance to hit or exceed value here. But that's the risk that you're ru you're running when you play Alfred Payton. You just don't know how many minutes he's going to play in the game. But he is projected at 18 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 3,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 300 less on DraftKings. Now I like this pick, and the reason why I'm just gonna give Alfred Payton another shot tonight is because he scored 19, 21, 28, 41, and 55 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Suns. And Vegas thinks there's gonna be 218 points scored in this game. So I like Alfred Payton as a high risk, high reward tournament play here versus the Phoenix Suns. Now, if you're looking for a stud tonight, I like Damian Lillard, who's averaging 44.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game. Oh, he's playing the LA Lakers. And anyways, I like Damian Lillard because he scored 53, 50, and 54 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 33, and 39 minutes. And he scored 48 fantasy points in his last game versus the Lakers. So he's projected at 44.1 fantasy points here tonight. I think he's going to score 47 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 9,200 FanDuel salary and he's 500 more on DraftKings. So I like Damian Lillard as a stud pick here versus the LA Lakers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. 
If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now guys, just as a quick note, we just released a free DFS contest on Draft Dashboard for MLB and NBA for DraftKings and FanDuel. There's over $500 available in the prize pool. And this is a totally free contest you can enter as a Draft Dashboard member. So make sure to click the link in the description of this video, give Draft Dashboard a try, and you can start playing in our free DFS contest and compete to win some money. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. Another stud, but he's much lower salary. I like Devin Booker from the Phoenix Suns playing the New York Knicks, who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing shooting guards, but Devin Booker has scored averaged 37.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 33% usage rate. He scored 39, 49, and 47 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 40, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 38.1 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 40 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 8,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 more on DraftKings. He scored 38, 39, 48, 57, and 54 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Knicks. He's got that 50 plus fantasy point upside. So he's got a huge ceiling and his price is pretty reasonable. So I like Devin Booker here versus the New York Knicks. Okay, now I'm gonna give you another value play, high risk, high reward tournament play at the shooting guard position. I like Pat Connington from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Houston Rockets, who have the second worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Pat Connington, he's averaging 17 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 23 minutes per game with a 12% usage rate. Now, the reason I like this pick is because he played 31 minutes last game and scored 30 fantasy points. So this pick is all about how many minutes he's gonna get in this game here tonight. If he can get 25 minutes or more, he should be able to crush value. So he's projected at 16.9 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he scores at least 20 fantasy points in this one to get you five times value or more. He's 3,800 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 less on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 230.5 points scored in this game. And he actually has a pretty good player versus team history. He scored a 10, 21, and 38 uh, fantasy points in his last three games versus the Rockets. So that 21 or 38 would have been over five times value, 30 fantasy points or more, and he's going to crush value and be one of the best plays on the slate. So I hope he gets at least 25 minutes in this one. It's a fantastic matchup in a high scoring game. So I like Pat Connington here versus the Houston Rockets. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Evan Fournier from the Boston Celtics playing the Chicago Bulls, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing small forwards, Evan Fournier has averaged 27.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He scored 36, 37, and 11 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 28, 33, and 20 minutes. So I like this pick because of his last two games, playing 28 to 33 minutes, scoring 36 and 37 fantasy points, I hope that can continue here tonight. He's projected at 28.1 fantasy points here tonight. On FanDuel, that's 4.7 times value because he's 6,000 FanDuel salary, but he's 600 less on DraftKings. So on DraftKings, that would be 
over five times value if he can score 28.1 fantasy points. And I think he's good for 30 plus fantasy points in this one. Vegas thinks there's going to be 223.5 points scored in this game. And he scored 27, 20, and 31 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Bulls. So I like Evan Fournier here versus the Chicago Bulls. Okay, another small forward that I like, and this is probably a FanDuel play for me only, just because he's so cheap on FanDuel. I'd rather find someone else on DraftKings. But on FanDuel, I like Bojan Bogdanovic from the Utah Jazz playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Bojan Bogdanovic, he's averaging 24 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He scored 27, 29, and 42 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 25, 33, and 38 minutes. Now he's projected at 24.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.2 times value. But I think he can score 30 fantasy points or more in this one and get you five times value or more. Now, he's 5,700 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,100 more on DraftKings. So I'm not going to play him on DraftKings, but I think his salary makes a lot of sense on FanDuel where he'd get you over five times value if he can score 28 fantasy points or more. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 220 points scored in this game. And he scored 36, 21, and 32 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Nuggets. It's a good matchup. So I like Bojan Bogdanovic on FanDuel here versus the Denver Nuggets. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. Now, this is a DraftKings play. I like Marvin Bagley from the Sacramento Kings playing the San Antonio Spurs, who have the 13th worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. Marvin Bagley, he's averaged 26.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 26 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He scored 44, 24, and 39 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 34, 30, and 34 minutes. So his minutes per game are way up over the last three games, which gives him an extended ceiling. You can see he's got 40 plus fantasy point upside. Now he's projected at 28.4 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 32 fantasy points or more. And on DraftKings, that would be way over five times value. On FanDuel, he's 7,000 FanDuel salary. So I'm not gonna play him on FanDuel, but on DraftKings, he's 1,100 less. So he doesn't need much to hit five times value on DraftKings. And he's got a huge ceiling playing a bunch of minutes the past three games. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 227.5 points scored in this game. So I like Marvin Bagley here versus the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, now this next play, I think this is a pretty interesting mid-range play. Definitely a lot of risk, probably a tournament play only, but I like Moritz Wagner from the Orlando Magic playing the Charlotte Hornets, who have the seventh worst defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Now, Moritz Wagner, he scored 30, 18, and 36 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 25, 41, and 34 minutes. So those minutes per game are all over the board. 
But if he can get 30 minutes or more in this one, I think he has no problem hitting five times value or more. So I think he's going to score at least 25 fantasy points here tonight. On FanDuel, that's five times value. He's 4,900 FanDuel salary, and he's 600 more on DraftKings. So I prefer this FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 216 points scored in this game. But I like Moritz Wagner as a high-risk, high-reward play on FanDuel. Okay, moving on to the center position. So here's a value play at center. I like Nas Reed from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Miami Heat, who have a good defense overall in their middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Nas Reed, he's averaged 21.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 19 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 30, 29, and 21 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 25, 22, and 15 minutes. Now, he's projected at 22.1 fantasy points here tonight, which is a totally reasonable projection based on his season average, the minutes per uh, minutes per game that he's been playing, and his even his average over the past three games. So he's projected at 22.1 fantasy points here tonight. And on FanDuel, that's 5.5 times value. He's 4,000 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 less on DraftKings. So even a better DraftKings play. So he scored 27 and 19 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Heat, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 221.5 points scored in this game. I think he makes a really interesting and logical value play here versus the Miami Heat. Okay, now a center stud that I'm looking at is Joel Embiid from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the New Orleans Pelicans, who have the eighth worst defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing centers, Joel Embiid has averaged 50.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 36% usage rate. He scored 51, 35, and 46 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 24, 32, and 34 minutes. He's projected at 47.9 fantasy points here tonight. And on FanDuel, that's five times value. He's 9,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 1,100 more on DraftKings. So I love that FanDuel price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 229 points scored in this game, and Joel Embiid has scored 29, 49, 56, and 49 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Pelicans. So I like Joel Embiid here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again, and good luck.